Building documentation takes time, takes effort, and some people just aren't super good at building documentation. So it's great to be able to take advantage of ChatGPT to accelerate and give you a leg up. A great starting point can be had with this tool. So what kind of use cases what might we find ourselves in with IT people building documentation? Let's say I want to build new hire documentation and the instructions that I want to have are for a particular application, maybe a cloud-based application, maybe proprietary, but let's use something that a lot of people have experience with, and that is Office 365. And I'll give you a case where Office 365, but it's not just a simple login. We're also using multi-factor authentication, so they're also gonna have to confirm on their phone. And let's see how well this tool facilitates documentation creation for this. Create new hire documentation. That provides instructions for logging in to Office 365. So it says, welcome to our organization. We could amend that. We could say, please update the organization to be X whenever possible. And it goes through and uh, indicates here's the URL. You could say, please update the URL if you wanted them to maybe log into portal.office.com. And it says, oh, you know what? That's interesting. Sometimes it would give MFA, sometimes it wouldn't. Like I could ask, ask it to regenerate that response and I may not get that. Um, but we know that we are using MFA. So let's add that in. Please update the instructions to Assume MFA is enabled and that they will need to authenticate with their company phone. Remember, if at first you do not succeed getting the response that you want, you can always ask it to update it. Sometimes there'll be a breaking point where you're just gonna drop it into Word or Notepad or wherever you wanna, wherever you want to update it. Okay, so it says Microsoft Authenticator app. And if that's what you're using, that's great. If you need to tune it to be more focused on receiving a text response, you could do that. Okay. So building instructions to be able to log in, you could codify this in a very nice PDF with some branding and have a professional new hire document uh, at the ready. Let's say we want to build, I'm gonna go into a new chat here. Let's say we wanna build instructions on how to spot phishing emails. Uh, write up instructions on how to spot a phishing email. So this might be something that you get in front of people before they do um, a more robust security awareness training. The very first thing that they see is a set of documents that uh, that is going to help them out with security concerns for the organization. So we're getting pretty good instructions. Don't click on suspicious links. It's all the stuff that I would tell people to do. Uh, watch out for attachments. You could have attachments that point to an HTML. Yeah, okay. 
So let this finish. Now let's t take a twist on this. Let's say we are a multinational organization. We need to do the same thing in a different language. R write that again, but in Spanish. Okay, now my Spanish isn't that good. But you can start to see that you could put this in the hands of a Spanish-speaking individual or French, whatever whatever the language is. You could see, all right, great. I have the ability to transform my documentation now. In this case, you do, if, if, if you're like me and... Uh, Spanish isn't a language that you have uh, been uh, versed in for a while. You would want to get this in front of someone who can do a sanity check. However, you can see the power of being able to meet the organization's needs uh, and do so rapidly. Well, that finish. It's taking a little bit of time, certainly. One thing that I would say is let it finish if you want this. If I were to jump to a new chat, that's going to effectively bork the, uh, the, the response that I'm going to get. And I want to be a little bit more patient. Okay, so looks like it's finished. I'll open up a new chat. And uh, one more example just for uh, giving you the spectrum. Uh, write an AUP policy for my hotel's Wi-Fi focused on safe website usage only. Okay. So acceptable use policies are something that's quite common in an organization. And if you didn't have one, it would be great to be able to build one pretty rapidly. Okay. So with that in mind, you can see creating documentation, updating it, influencing it, and even getting it rewritten to a different language is entirely possible with this tool. And you can build out a lot more polished documents for your team.